Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the second video on Octave. Uh, I'm going to discuss some very basic functionality of Octave. So uh, Octave works uh, the same as MATLAB, mostly with matrices. A particular case of matrices are vectors. So for example, I can make a vector by defining the name of the vector V1 and using square brackets. So I can, for example, make a, a, a vector that goes from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 in nine steps. So for example, this is V1. I could also make a column vector V2 that it could be 10, 9, 8, These are ways of generating different vectors, different sizes. For example, I can uh, check the length of the vector. Length of V1 would be 8. Length of V2 would be 7. I can also have the size. The size will give me the all the dimensions. So size of V1 would be 1, 8. Size of V2 would be 7, 1 which indicates a column vector. These vectors, I uh, made them by manually, by typing the values, but you can also very easily make different vectors using intervals. For example, I could make the first vector by doing 0 0.1, semicolon, 0 0.1, 0 0.9. So this means that I will ask for Octave to make an, an interval that starts on 0 0.1 and goes in 0 0.1 steps until 0 0.9. So if I do this, I would get the same vector as V1. So for example, I can make an interval v3 is now generated as an interval starting from uh, 0 0.1 in 0 0.1 unit steps. I could do a different interval. So for example, v4, I could use this to make a much larger vector. So this could start on 0 and it could go to 10. And now you see I have a much longer vector, which is divided on the screen on different number of columns, so, so it will fit. So this is kind of impractical to see, but for example, we can, if we use the uh, apostrophe operator, the quotation mark, so basically we transpose the vector and generate a column vector. So for example, if we take V1, if I do V1 uh, quote, I will transpose it. If I transpose the transposed vector, I'll get the original one. So these are some manipulations of vectors you can do. For example, let's say I want the element number three of vector one. So I just put between parentheses. This is different from some other languages like uh, Python, Julia, and I think also C++ that they use brackets to, or normally use brackets to indicate um, elements of a, of, of a vector or array. So in MATLAB and Octave use parentheses. So for example, if I want s several values, for example, I want elements three to five, 
I can do this in several ways. So I put this, I put this would be a vector of indices three, four, and five as um, elements of the vector one. So I would get the three, the third, fourth, and fifth elements of the one. If I, I could also use semicolon notation inside. For example, if I do one to nine, V1, one to nine, I will get all the values. Equivalently, I could do one to end. That will give me the values from the start to the end. And I could use only the semicolon, the colon operator, sorry, that means basically one colon end. So it would give me everything, but now it will give it as a um, column vector. So that's a small difference that you have to keep in mind. So for example, I want to have one to end. So let's go to before, which was has 101 elements. So let's say I don't want to see everything about before so I could go 1 to 10 and I will see the first 10 elements I could go for example uh, 60 to end and I will see the last uh, 40 or 41 elements 40 elements or for example I could go end minus 10 to end and I would see the last 10 elements 11 the last 11 elements sorry so this allows me to basically slice vectors so now let's say I want to make a matrix so for example I will call this matrix A and I will make a random matrix of sides 10 by 10 so now I have this matrix. So if I want to see, for example, the first column, I would put semicolon comma one, and that would give me the first column. You can check that it is the, the same one. I want to get columns one to three, I would do this. So the first dimension represents that you should give me the whole column, and the second dimension tells me um, then the index of the columns that I want. So if I want some rows, I can do, for example, row four, and I would get the row fourth. So if I go back to A, you can check that I got the row. row. So for example, I could make a sub matrix. For example, B could be A, one to four, comma, one to four. I have a sub matrix. I can also concatenate matrices. For example, C can be A 5 to end, 5 to end. So it gives me the last block uh, of the matrix. So now I could do something. For example, I could. Um, concatenate these matrices and make a new matrix. This is BLK BIAC means block diagonal. So I put B and C and it should give me a matrix that will now have the same dimensions as A, but with only contain certain blocks. So this can be useful to remove certain elements from a matrix. So for example, if I do A minus D, I now get uh, basically I will get the other part of the the, the 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 remainder of A that was not contained in D, which would be the all all the other elements. So these are some things I can do with matrices. So for example, you can also do obtain the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. of a matrix, let's say by using the keyword A. So there was a syntax error. 
Ah, I forgot the equal sign. So this gives me the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. And you see the eigenvectors and eigenvalues are complex. This is because A was is a random matrix, which is not symmetric. So non-symmetric matrices can have a complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So for example, if I want to symmetrize this, I could say E equal A transpose times A. So basically I will make a new matrix that now will be symmetric because if you multiply at the transpose of a matrix by itself, it will give always a symmetric matrix. So for example, if I now do uh, the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of E, this will give me real values and real eigenvectors. So I can transpose matrices the same way as I transpose, for example, rand uh, 4, 8. So this is a random uh, 4 row times 8 column matrices, matrix. So I can transpose it. F transpose, now it's a, it's a taller matrix it has eight rows and four columns so for example if i do f transpose times f i will get the square matrix which also will be symmetric if i do f times f transpose i will get a different matrix which is four by four this shows that a uh, matrix multiplication is non-commutative it depends on the order of the matrices not all computations can be done. For example, if I have another matrix G, which is size of eight by eight, if I do N F times G, I will get a, a four by eight matrix. But if I do G times F, I will get an error because the size of G is eight by eight. The size of F is 4 by 8 and there's no no normal way of doing a product between G and F in that order so but I could for example do a product between G times F transpose and that would give me a 8 by 4 matrix so this is uh, this course or this tutorial on Octave assumes that you have some knowledge of linear algebra so I'm not going to explain all the basics of matrix and vectors, but I want to show how uh, you can use Octave to operate on these uh, magnitudes. So uh, I think this is all for this video. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.